All right. Are we uh, are we live here? Are we live? I think we're live. Let me start recording. All right. Welcome, everyone. We have uh, people from all over uh, the world here, which is cool. And we have people from all different um, uh, platforms. So we got people on Zoom. We got people on YouTube. And we got people on the website. So um, everyone on Zoom, I just, uh, if you have a question, please leave it in the Zoom chat um, or raise your hand uh, as opposed to uh, unmuting yourself. I think everyone should be muted automatically when they come into the session. That's kind of a feature I put on for this one. So, um, but anyway, and also if you uh, check out YouTube, the link is kind of cool. There's a bunch of people uh, checking in and also, uh, leaving comments. So I'm going to go there now and just say hi to everybody. So, so hey to the YouTube world. And then I'm going to acknowledge some of the Zoomers here. <laughs> Is that official, Jack? Zoomers? <laughs> but uh, Vicky, I see Vicky's here on her iPad. Jack's here. We got Susie. We've got Russ, Cappy, Chuck, Leonard. Lawrence is here. Elizabeth and Leslie is here. And uh, I got two Leonard. So I see Leonard and then I see Leonard, uh, his name. So he's, he's got, he's double, double connected this time. So, whoa, sorry about that. Um, anyway, I got the kids out of the house. Uh, they're up at Grammy's with uh, my mom and uh, my mom's Grammy uh, and uh, my wife. So, uh, man, there's a lot of people on YouTube. It's kind of cool. If you go to the website, I'll put the link here, uh, you Zoomers here, uh, both for, uh, uh, both for the, the website and also um, the thing, but we can chat here. Zoom has a chat feature as well. So there's the, the website link and then the, the, uh, the YouTube link is right here. I'm gonna put that here too. So you can go there too. All right, so what we're here today is to talk about um, finger style ukulele. So we're gonna do a couple of things. One, we're gonna recap the uh, the finger style challenge that so many of you participated in. If you can believe it, we had over 1500 people sign up for that course um, and, and people are still signing up for it. So not too bad for a couple of weeks. And then we've had hundreds of posts, both on Instagram, uh, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and then people posting not only in the free You Like the Pros forum, but also the um, the member only community as well. So that has been kind of cool um, as well. Let me just check in uh, with Jack. If you give me a thumbs up, Jack, can, can you hear me okay? Where's Jack? Do you have Cappy's all shaking his head? Okay, good. Um, and the video, this is I'm downstairs here. Um, and by the way, uh, that's drawing on the wall from my kids. So um, one of our members, Greg told me, to uh, let them draw all over the walls and then they'll hit a certain age and then you just paint the whole house because there's drawings. There's drawings everywhere. Every every wall has magic marker or permanent marker or, or crayons or something. It's pretty funny. All right, also stick around because at the end, near the end, we're gonna announce the winner of this. And this was a total surprise if you remember. I just announced this yesterday, but I, I chose four finalists for the grand prize, which is, is Ohana Willowwood concert ukulele. And that one's uh, courtesy of, of you like the pros um, from their stock. And, um, and then we're also going to do a runner up as well. So we got a lot, lot to do. That will be at the end. I do have the four finalists. I will let you know who they were at the end. Although I do appreciate everybody that participated and everybody that's here right now. So, so let's go in. I'm going to, uh, it's a little delayed on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. I'm going to bring up the PowerPoint that I've created. We'll kind of go through the PowerPoint a little bit and uh, I'll kind of go back and forth. I'm kind of going to wing it a little bit. I always find that for me, it's a little bit better to wing it. I guess it's a jazz musician in me rather than have everything super structured and kind of stiff. So I think we'll wing it if that works, if that works for you guys uh, that are here. And by the way, in your chat, whether you're in a Zoom or YouTube, um, feel free to uh, let us know where you're checking in from. That would be cool to see people all over, all over the place. So um, also, I think on the website, you can do a 
let me see, is there a Facebook comments? Let me add that real quick. There's a section I can do where it's Facebook comments as well. Um, I'm gonna make that live here. You might need to refresh your screen. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm gonna put that also up by the, uh, the uh, here as well, Facebook comments. So you can also, okay, that should be saved. So you should see Facebook comments too, if you prefer to check in with Facebook comments as well. All right, let me share my screen. Let's get started with this uh, bad boy. And feel free to, to leave some questions in the chat. Zoomers, you know how to do it. YouTubers, just leave some thing in the chat. I'll, I'll see if I see it. Stuff's kind of scrolling super fast right now through the uh, through the feed. All right, so let's let's go through this. This is our, our finger style uh, uh, ukulele webinar. And we're gonna we're gonna recap a little bit about uh, the 15 day challenge, and also we're gonna talk a little bit about why we're here is to open up the possibilities of what finger style ukulele can do for you. How can it transform you as a player um, or even a songwriter? Uh, let me ask Jack. Can you see me as well in the little corner? Oh, Leslie shaking her head. You can see me too. Okay, good. All right. So let's, I wanted to start a little bit about myself. Some of you know me through uh, social media. Um, some of you know me through uh, like pros.com. Uh, some of you have met at festivals. Uh, some of us chat on Messenger and YouTube and Facebook and all different places. But, but my name is Terry Carter, and I'm the creator of Youth Like the Pros. Um, and just, I think Youth Like the Pros has been around for about seven years, but it started out as an app, and the website has been around maybe for about two years now. So uh, a little bit about myself is um, I've been a musician, a professional musician, for about 35 years now. Um, and I've done, I've run the gamut of everything you can do as a musician from a performer to a studio musician, to a producer, to a composer, uh, to engineer, to a, a band leader, to a sideman, to uh, there's a bunch of stuff, but um, spent a lot of my time up in LA as a studio musician, writing stuff for TV and film and, and playing with different artists and helping them out. And I'll get to that in a second. So that's kind of my, my professional experience. Some of my credits include uh, work with Josh Groban. Uh, hopefully, you know, the great Josh Groban, amazing, one of the most amazing singers uh, around today. Uh, Weezer, the rock band Weezer, Robbie Krieger of The Doors, and uh, also some work with the LA Philharmonic as well. Um, now, primarily, I am in uh, San Diego, um, uh, living with my family, my kids, my wife, and uh, uh, doing you like the pros mainly made a lot of you like the pros and also the store and a lot of you know me now as far as the store as well getting some great ukuleles to people all over the world so that's been a, a, a fun venture as well a um, little bit about my experience as a uh, teacher or professor um, i started my undergraduate degree at san diego state university in music education of all things and um, which i loved except for at the time all i wanted to do was play guitar and they were making me uh, go around and teach uh, different classes from elementary school to middle school, high school uh, music classes. And I, all I wanted to do was play at the time. Uh, but then what I didn't appreciate was uh, at the time, which I do now is the well-rounded uh, education I got as a, uh, a music educator and learning how to do things like conduct and sing and um, music history and music theory and playing all the instruments from some flute saxophone to string bass to cello to violin uh, didn't play them well I'm not saying I played them all well but I got the experience all of those as well I'm even spent a year as a, uh, a high school band director of all things um, which I don't talk about a lot um, but uh I was actually a band director for a year realized real quickly that that was not my path at all um, and uh, fortunately I was uh, relieved of my duty after a year which then allowed me to go on and, and do the things that I did up in LA so it was a it was a blessing in disguise but uh, as a music professor I have worked at schools um, San Diego State University is where I actually got my start uh, as, a, as an educator teaching guitar classes as an undergraduate when I was there. Uh, University of Southern California, uh, where I also went and got my master's degree in studio jazz performance. And that was that was a guitar performance. I don't know if they have studio jazz ukulele performance yet, but I'm sure it's creeping into 
the curriculum um, as schools like USC try to stay on top of trends. And I would definitely say the ukulele has become a, a hot trend and hopefully it stays hot for the rest of our lives. Um, and uh, currently I, I do teach a class at Miracosta College, but I've also worked at Santa Monica College and Cypress College and LA City College and Trade Tech College and a bunch of different colleges. So a little bit about my, my music education. Um, and as a composer, I've written stuff for TV, MTV, Puma, Animal Planet, CBS. Um, I'm not going to spoil it, but I have a track out for potentially for a commercial now, um, which was kind of weird. So we'll all find out Monday if that happens. If that goes, I'll let you know about it. So kind of cool. And then most recently, I guess, over the last uh, year or so, um, just more of a social media um, uh, guy uh, with over 2.5 million YouTube views and over 50,000 followers on all the different platforms that I have. So there's a little bit about me. Um, if you have any questions about me, you can feel free to ask in the chat. I'll try to get to them. If not, um, you can always message me. I'm quite open with uh, what I do, my life and stuff like that as far as not trying to hide anything here. Um, okay, so good, everything looks fine. I am going to uh, just take a look at YouTube real quick. It's so cool seeing seeing that. And then we'll, uh, we'll jump into this, this challenge that we did. So um, I see Craig is here and BB Ukes. I love that, isn't that cool? BB Ukes, <laughs> Faye's here, Emily, Barbara, uh, Ukulele Momsters here, Pam, Mike, uh, Greg, Steve Mather, Liz, so man, a lot of people checking in. Uh, some of, oh, Richard Browning, yeah, Richard, I, I think I saw the email from you, or no, a post from you, yeah, the other day, so, okay, so welcome everyone, I'm just going to say hi to everybody in the chat, hi to all, <clears throat> all right, so let's get started here with what I want to talk about a little bit today. And let me share my screen again. I should be an expert, Cappy, shouldn't I, with this Zoom? We do it, we do it so many times, but yet I still, I can't find stuff. <laughs> I can't find where it goes. There's a split screen. That's the problem, the split screen. All right. And it feels weird being here. Oh, some people are trying to get in. I'm sorry. Ooh, a lot of people. I made, oh, sorry. I just let a bunch of people in. You didn't miss anything? Yeah, there's a waiting room here now. And I don't know why that is. There's my dog in the background. My old, my old dog, very cool dog there. All right, so let's get started with this thing. It feels weird because I'm used to talking to everybody more in these in these webinar in the the webinars we do. All right, so what I wanted to to kind of go over and hopefully what we experienced with um, the uh, um, finger style challenge was just the possibilities of a finger style and. And what it can do for us, open up as opposed to just our, right, just our strumming all the time, which is cool. I mean, I love the strum. I mean, we all do it. I mean, it's a great part of being a musician, a guitar player, ukulele player, you know, mandolin player, all the string instruments. But there's so much more that we can do with this instrument. If you've seen some great uh, ukulele players, which I know you have in concert and at the ukulele festivals and stuff like that, you've really seen some people... Daniel Ho and you know uh, Andrew Molina and, and people that just can take the the instrument to uh, different levels, right? And of course, there's uh, uh, so let me see here. Sorry, um, the PowerPoint is something new though. All right, so uh, stick around. As I mentioned, I kind of let the cat out of the bag earlier. We are going to announce the secret winners in a little bit towards the end of it, and then that will be a uh, kind of a random a random uh, selector the way I did it, but I did choose four people that did a great job um, on the finger style challenge. So thank you for all of those people that were there. All right. So let me just, I know I've been talking a little bit about myself, but I don't do it all that much. So I'm just gonna give you a real quick uh, version of my story. And I kind of said this in a, in a video I did recently on uh, what, what is finger style ukulele. Um, so, I'm a huge, uh, was as a kid, especially a uh, huge Led Zeppelin fan. I don't know, is there any Led Zeppelin fans out there? Jimmy Page, uh, that kind of stuff, you know? So you gotta imagine young punk uh, me at 14 or so have a guitar in my hand. And, you know, I'm trying to learn uh, my favorite bands, which were Van Halen and Led Zeppelin and, and stuff like that. All these great guitar players, Jimi Hendrix, um, you know, some blues guys, B.B. King, all that kind of stuff. Well, what really got to me was not so much the strumming, but what always got to me was really the, the picking stuff was really something that always was 
interest me. And what I didn't know at the time was that a lot of these things when they're picking are actually just simply doing what we know as arpeggios, right? So uh, maybe if you're looking at maybe a song like Stairway to Heaven, I was thinking they were maybe doing like this. Right, just kind of picking each note. It was only later that I realized they're actually doing these chords, right? And they're doing these arpeggios, which is allowing the, the notes to ring out on top of each other, give you this really beautiful sound, almost this layered sound on top of it. So it wasn't until then that I was realized that really opened up the possibility. So, uh, and Stairway to Heaven was not my favorite song. It was actually Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You, if you know that song really great picking part by Jimmy Page. So that song, I actually still love to this day. So all the songs that kind of had a lot of picking in them. Um, what other songs from that, that, that era, like the 60s, 70s had a lot of picking? You guys remember, leave some, leave some comments in the chat. Like what other songs um, were big for picking? How like Dust in the Wind is a big one, right on guitar. People love to play Dust in the Wind. Um, my mind's going blank, but just cause I'm, you know, we're doing this thing live here, but yeah, let me know, remind me, refresh my memory of that. And so from then on, I really kind of always loved the finger picking. Plus it sounded kind of cool as well. And it wasn't something that everybody could necessarily do. So let's get back to the slide here. Um, all right. So looking at the slide here. Uh, okay. So the recap of the finger style challenge, let's just, let's just, you know, we kind of did that already, but again, thank you all for doing it. I'm just blown away by the amount of people that joined in it. And there was always a, the, the thing of like, should it be a 15 day challenge or should it be like a 45 day challenge? And you, each one you get like two or three days on, right? So um, we did it a, a every day, every day a challenge. And I was really impressed by people, not necessarily playing it perfectly, but that they were trying each day, that they were doing videos, that they were, you know, posting stuff, being brave, hearing my comments, because I was like, great job, but you could also work on this, right? I don't want to just, you know, always try to teach you, help you get better as well. So, and I know I got a lot of feedback that people appreciated that. But what do you think, what do you think the good and the bad were? I got, hold on, I got a slide for it. I got to just put that up. Not very good slide, but just the good and the bad. Like, like think about if you were watching any of the videos, what were some of the good and the bad things, the things that people struggle with that are probably things that you struggle with as well. One, the biggest thing I would have to say is our timing, playing with the backing track or playing even by ourselves without the backing track, but playing in time. A lot of times, what do we think to do? Do we tend to rush or we tend to slow down? Like, what do you think, what are the, what do we tend to do? Or actually like, think about yourself. What do you, what do you tend to do? I'm going to move this YouTube over here so I can see this chat as it's going on a little bit better. Okay. So what do you guys tend to do when you're playing? Lay it back kind of and where you're almost playing too slow or rush it. I would say the majority of us do what? Rush, right? Where most of us rush, rush it. Why is that? I'm not sure why, why exactly we do that. I think we, uh, we're so focused on what we're playing that we lose we lose uh, track of the beat. And sometimes when we're nervous, especially with the videos, I know it's the nerve wracking with the videos, is that we tend to rush because we're nervous. And so we're playing a little bit faster. We're playing on top of the beat. And so uh, I think that's the second thing I wanted to talk about the, the, is how many of you played it perfectly at home, in your bedroom, in your office, wherever you're playing it. But then as soon as you hit that damn record button, that damn record button, it like it it triggers something in your fingers to make them not play the right chord, right? Or all of a sudden now you're like you're getting some some muting stuff when you used to play that chord all the time, right? And you do that live too. If you've if you've done any playing live out in front of people uh, in a in a restaurant, in a bar, outside at a festival or something, where you'll play a song and then all of a sudden Lawrence knows it because he's done some performance. Is that like? You're like, I never missed that chord in my entire life ever. And all of a sudden I've missed how to, like, I can't play G7. <laughs> like, you know, whatever it is, you know, um, you know, you, you do funny things that for some reason you've never done before. So um, that's just a matter of concentration and getting used to the camera, getting used to the metronome or the backing tracks or whatever that you're, you're playing with. So, so that was another uh, kind of the big 
thing that I saw um, as well, or heard a lot in the feedback um, as well. So, uh, uh, and I guess the other thing would be how many, how many takes did you do for your, your videos, right? Is it uh, like one take and you're done? Or was it like, Chuck just had zillions, <laughs> zillions of takes, right? So um, actually, and it's funny because in my story this morning, I was playing this piece. And Renee, Renee uh, noticed that I, she's like, if you can't play it right with your pinky, how can we play it, right? And so I was like, well, one, I was holding the camera in between my legs <laughs> and I was outside, but two, I just wanted to have it as one take. And sometimes, sometimes that first take may not be perfect, but it's come kind of that first take. So a lot of takes, tw tw uh, 12, Craig says 12 takes on average for, for that, that one little video. And you notice I try to keep those videos all under a minute so you can post them on Instagram. You know, Instagram is a stickler for keeping everything under uh, a minute. Oh yeah, Ukulele Monster says 40 takes. This girl just says millions per video. Richard says second take, all right. All right, so it's kind of funny. I think uh, we've talked about this in our Q and A's. I think, I think there's a, uh, probably after maybe about the fourth or fifth take, I think there's a kind of a diminishing returns uh, thing that's happening where we play it better, maybe we play it really clean, but now we're not playing it with as much emotion, as much feeling, even though that note might be better. And sometimes the take that has a note that maybe gets a little bit of that, where you get a little buzz, it might be actually a better take than take 26, where you play that particular note perfectly. So you gotta weigh, you gotta weigh that in your recordings. Is it, does it need to be perfect or do you wanna have a lot of emotion and feeling into it? So, um, Anyway, um, yeah, or, or Jack says he used to, he had to walk away, <laughs> like, I need a break, you know, and that, that happens too, just like, come back, come back tomorrow, like, don't even, just forget it, you're done for the day, and believe me, in my studio, which is literally behind that wall, um, I do that, so some days, my videos are just, they're just like, whatever happens, my mind's not into it, it doesn't happen, right when I'm about to hit record, the damn gardener comes, um, or something like that, you know, so the air, the jet flies over or something like that. So, um, anyway, that's just the way it is. Okay, good. Uh, just record myself practicing, make sure I got it right yet, but there is a great, hopefully you learned something, you learn something by the recordings and watching yourself back, which is painful. How many felt a little pain doing that? Right. It's like, Oh, Oh, like, oh, why did I wear that shirt with that, you know, whatever, or, or, or my hair or my makeup or my uh, whatever, right? Um, but, but watching, watching back is, is a painful process to us. We don't like doing that because it's like we self critique ourselves. Um, yeah, so Joel says he takes a walks away as well. Um, yeah, don't get me started. Craig said, don't get me started on jets. Uh, a real quick story, and I'm going to release a video at some point, but Andrew Molina was over here, um, the great Maui ukulele on Instagram, and he was doing a take of this song. It was freaking amazing, right? It's amazing. He's doing this finger style pick and piece. He's all by himself, right? No backing track. He's playing, he's playing, he's playing so beautiful. Literally at last minute, there's like, we're, because we're right by Miramar, the uh, now it's a Marine base. But right at the very last, like 10 seconds, the jet just like flies over. It's so loud. He actually starts laughing during the take <laughs> because it's like, what can you do? You can't do anything. You know, you can't do anything. So, all right. So, yeah, so that's a good and a bad. Now, the good, the good of the thing was that a lot of you were very brave. You did your videos. I know it's nerve wracking. Some of you got up early. You were up late. You did it on your lunch break. I think Jade was in her car, like freezing with her her jacket on and her cold hands, you know, doing videos. Um, uh, Janelle was like, you know, cooking dinner for her family, doing videos um, over some of the other ones. Craig, Craig was like in a, a, a storm, a weather storm, you know, raining, doing videos. So um, I think there was a video I saw last night where um, there was drums being played in the background. <laughs> Someone was playing, there was like a, the, uh, I forget, uh, <laughs> significant other was playing drums in the other room while they were doing their, their video or their ukulele video so anyway very proud of everybody for doing that and just getting getting used to that um uh two some of you are damn good oh my goodness like like i mean some of those were takes were like way better than my takes so um you guys put me to shame 
which is which kind of happens sometimes from a composer standpoint when you write a piece sometimes people interpret it and actually play it better than you so i saw a lot of that i was like oh that was a good one <laughs> that was probably better than the one that i did so um so so really well job on that um if you notice with the challenge and this is kind of what we're about to get started talking about and the reason why we're here is is we we started learning a bunch of different finger style patterns right from from the what did we do the the thumb and index right to thumb index we did um the the triplet pattern and then we did the back row triplet pattern right we did the back row triplet we did the pinch one And then of course we did the famous Pima pattern one too. We probably did a couple other ones. Oh, we did the blues one too, right? The blues one. So hopefully you notice that once you get a couple of these patterns down, the other ones start getting a little bit easier or you can start making that connection of, you could actually group certain finger style patterns together. So let's just say, because the whole point of that finger style challenge was not to, yeah, cool, play some cool pieces, which I think they were cool because I still, when I hear them, like, that's a cool piece. Oh, wait, that's one of the challenge pieces. That's kind of cool. Um, but to, to then take this stuff that I gave you and apply it to when you go out to your, your ukulele group, right? How many people have you playing with either with somebody else, a group, or you go out to an ukulele group and you play, or you had an ukulele festival and you were sitting around the couches and jamming with people, right? Hopefully a lot of you have done that. And how many times are, are we just, you know, strumming, strumming our stuff, right? Which is cool. I mean, I'm, again, I'm not bagging on strumming because I love strumming just as much as, as the next person. But, you know, it starts getting nice when, you know, you hear the, the good guys starting to do a little bit of finger picking and then they can even even start moving stuff up the neck a little bit as well right so the point was to take these finger style pattern and then apply them maybe like this christmas or holiday season when you're doing um well, i don't know uh silent night or you're doing green sleeves or you're doing something else you can now take maybe something you learned from that challenge and apply it to that chord progression right so that's kind of cool instead of just strumming it you can apply those chord progressions how many of you done that already just yeah, well, if you did day 16, you were supposed to do that already, right? Day 16 was the your your sh time to shine, your chance to shine. And I'm pretty honest with you, I want to like steal some of those picking patterns y'all came up with because they were like pretty damn cool, you know. Uh, they were like single notes and then pinches, you know, a bunch of different stuff that wasn't even in the challenge that you guys came up with. So everyone is so creative. Um, so I think that was a really good thing too, you guys. Your creativity is really uh is really amazing. All right. So uh, I'm just reading some of the comments. Burn my, yeah, some of you burn, oh, burn your fingers. Uh, oh, can't play right now. Yeah, that's, oh, and if, yeah, so a hello hot to everybody there. I'm just checking some of the, the uh, YouTube comments. There's a lot. YouTube comments go fast. I mean, you, you can't keep up with it. Uh, Craig loved day 16. We know that because he posted like three videos, right? I think Craig posted three videos, um, which is cool. Um, <laughs> And, and Craig just got back from seeing Elise Eckhart and uh, Ukulele Simon as well up in, I think Cambridge was that? I kind of had to go and check to see what they were doing as well. Um, all right, so let's move on, move on. <laughs> this is so awesome that you, oh, some people are trying to get in. Jonelle, Joel, sorry about that, you guys. I, I just let, uh, let you guys in. Um, it's so nice that you guys are here. I know it's a Sunday and, and we're not gonna, tr we'll try to keep it about an hour because I know our time is valuable. Um, and this is, um, this is being recorded, recording, thank God. <laughs> if not, I'd have to repeat everything I just said. <laughs> We'd have to do it all again, but no, it does say it's recording, so I'm glad about that. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so that was the good and the bad. That was just an awesome, awesome thing. All right, so I guess today is uh, about a couple of things. One, fixing the bad, which we've already kind of talked about a little bit, um, but I'm gonna, we're, we're gonna kind of step it up a little bit. So, um, so imagine this. Right, you're with your ukulele group, which is cool when there's 30, 30 ukulele players strumming. It's a big, big sound, big wall of sound. Uh, but like, what happens if you're doing something where other people like turn over and go, damn, like, what is that? Like, what are you doing there? Right, because you gotta imagine a lot of people, 
I mean, only 1500 people in all the whole world took the fingerstyle challenge. So a lot of people still don't know the things that you know, just from the, the fingerstyle challenge, right? So you do something kind of cool with like a picking pattern or a, a kind of a chord voicing, right? Instead of a, like a C chord, you play maybe a C chord here and you do you know, some kind of picking pattern. All of a sudden they're gonna look at it and go, yeah, that's cool, right? So, so imagine that just kind of sticking out a little bit instead of just blending in, sticking out a little bit, which is, which is kind of my whole, my life has been kind of doing that, sticking out a little bit. So imagine being confident enough to do that, right? Because what happens, and, I, I'm, and I, I'm telling you, it happens for myself too. When I have Andrew Molina over here, but I'm pointing to the studio. Uh, when I have Andrew Molina over here, when I have uh, Christopher Davis Shannon, Banjali Tin Man over here, when I have, um, you know, Timmy Uke 75 over here, and they're like, they're blowing up the, the neck, right? I mean, they're doing this crazy stuff. It can be a little intimidating. And you, what we do is we always end up going back to our kind of our, our basic stuff because we know that so well. But what about the harder stuff was your basic stuff? So you could just think about these different chord voices and, and throw in some kind of different kicking pattern or something like that. So that's what we all need to get to, including myself. Yeah, all those people are, are amazing. And they're actually even more amazing when you're in person with them. Right, because you see them on video, and it, video makes it seem easy. Oh, it's easy. I could do that. How easy is that? But then when you see them, you're like, "Damn, that's not easy. That's kind of hard." So, um, anyway, so that's imagine, imagine that. Imagine you're feeling that confident about doing stuff. Okay, so that, that's the next thing. Our next slide: playing with confidence. Okay, how many of you suffer from lack of confidence with your playing? Me, me. I mean, some days I'm not. I'm totally confident. Other days, when I'm doing my videos, I'm a wreck. And you can ask, uh, you can ask Mari, uh, who has to edit my, my wrecks of some days, when she sends me little screenshots, she's like, dude, how many times did you do this? <laughs> because I, I literally can't play something that I've played over and over again. So it, it's a mindset, right? It's that confident mindset. It's knowing that, wait, I can do this because I played this you know, in my room so many times perfectly, but I can do this now that the video's on, now that this person's here watching me, now that I'm with my ukulele group. So it's a confidence thing. We all, we all suffer from it, but we can get better on it. We get better by that daily practice, the discipline, and we get better by pushing ourselves to play harder pieces. The harder pieces we play when we go back to the easier pieces, then they seem a lot easier. One of the things I always tell my, my guitar classes when we have a final is that pick the hard piece and suck at it instead of picking the easy piece that you're like, think you're good at it because it's easy. You've done it so many times, but pick the, I'd rather you see you struggling through a hard piece because you're challenging yourself rather than picking something that's easy and, and doing well at it. Right. I mean, we like doing well, but, um, but yeah, so picking that harder stuff. And, and, and it's going to make that easy stuff, like I said, a lot, lot better when we do that. All right. And then the other thing was playing with a steady beat. That's just going to come with practice and practice and practice. So you should have, if you don't have, you should have a, a metronome on your phone, on your tablet. There's uh, just Google. If you have a computer, if you use your computer when you practice, Google metronome. And there's, there's websites that pop up for metronome. You should be, you should be practicing. I know, I know Vangelay Tin Man talks about this all the time. You should be practicing with the metronome all the time or backing tracks or something, right? Not every single second. I mean, don't feel like every single time, but majority of your time, you should get a metronome out. You should practice because that's where the, it's going to get better. It's going to get better because uh, I don't know how many of you played with a, a, a person that doesn't have good time that's really bad at time. Like they have to pause between chords or you're trying to maybe solo or sing and they're just like, they're rushing or they're slow or they're missing stuff. They can't count a measure of four and they're playing a chord for seven beats and then switching as opposed to four, right? It, 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 it can be frustrating because it's hard to feel the music when you're like that. So a metronome will, will help with that or backing tracks or playing with a drummer. I don't know if you play with drummer ukulele drums is not huge with ukulele unless you're like, um, you know, Daniel Ho or something like that, but um, that could be something else as well. So um, you'll learn to love the metronome. Like you'll learn to love it and your time will get a lot better as well. Um, um, anyway, so I think that's, that's good. All right. So, and we talked about that playing with the steady beat. So let me, let me share my screen again and we'll move past this. <clears throat> All right. 
So what else do we have to have imagine here? Okay, well, th let's just talk about this. The first thing here, what is the, the main thing that we're, we're here that I'm trying to convince you of, talk to you about is how finger style mastery, mastery of finger style will open up the ukulele to you and all its possibilities that you had never imagined before. So if you get these picking patterns down, we start breaking out of our open position here and start moving up the neck. We start doing bigger chord stretches. We try doing different finger patterns that it's gonna actually start opening up this entire instrument to us because the instrument is more than this, right? I think guys like Jake and, um, you know, and uh, Chris Fujigami and stuff like that, they're showing us that the instrument is more than the three frets right here. Right, that you can do so many great chord melodies on this thing and solo and, and blues and all kinds of different things. So hopefully that we open up your minds and the possibility of this, this great instrument, which even, even to me is, is still always a work in progress. We always get better at it. We always feel smoother. We always uh, know it better. I know guys like, like James Hill and those guys, they, they, know, they, they are the same way, right? They're always improving. Even though they're at such a high level already, they're still always getting better. Okay. So uh, this brings me to, uh, I think we've talked about some of this. I wanna kind of just go through these because I'm gonna start playing some new pieces for you here in a second. Um, and it's kind of why we're here today as well. So um, what, what does finger style do? Makes you sound like multiple ukulele players at one time. So I'm gonna use a, a jazz guitar player as an example. His name is Joe Pass. If you've never heard of Joe Pass, go listen to Joe Pass's album called Virtuoso. This guy is plays solo jazz guitar. And when you hear him playing one, just one guitar, it literally sounds like there's a bass player in the room. It sounds like there's a second guitar player in the room. It sounds like there's all these instruments in the room because he's getting so much sound from his playing, which is very finger style based playing. And even though it's jazz guitar, and not ukulele based, but you can really, you can hear the possibilities of that. Two, believe it or not, not everybody can play finger style. Not every ukulele player in the world can play finger style. Some of us are just happy being strummers, totally fine. Again, not, not putting down strumming. I, I probably spend the majority of my time strumming, but a lot of people can't even do it. So you're actually doing something that a lot of people can't do. You're gonna provide a richer sound with your music, right? I mean. to those versus right just our, our standard c chord right so richer sounding music like i already said talk about expanding the whole ukulele here and then also just standing out being different doing something a little bit unique that not everybody can do at this point or does so those are some of the things we're going to talk about uh we'll continue to talk about i guess we've been talking over 40 minutes almost 40 minutes so um okay Couple secrets, couple myths that I'm gonna break right now to you, and I'm gonna show you some new pieces. One, you don't have to relearn everything, right? You don't, as an ukulele player, you don't have to relearn all this stuff. You just gotta take what you know, start applying some different finger style patterns to it. Then the new chords will come, then the new stuff will come, but it's not, it's not relearning anything. I mean, even if you notice that challenge day 16, where we were just doing, right? You all know these chords. C, A7, D7, and G7, right? Those aren't like secret chords or anything like that, but yet you guys did so many cool things with it just by the different finger patterns that you approach, right? And then if you, if you ever saw, like, you, did you see Craig's uh, little pieces where he was like, right? Where you was doing like, you can start adding stuff like different, different melody notes and stuff like that. I'm seeing some chats here. I wanna to get to the chat here uh, with this. Oh, Pierre's trying to get in, Pierre's in. Okay, so yeah, so uh, what does Renee say? The trickiest thing in the, in, was the challenge were the chord switches. That's right, the chord switches. And that, <laughs> I was really surprised. I was really surprised with that one right there, number 15. Like I almost thought that was like a, a give me, you know, like 
Like we were playing baseball, but I was throwing up a big, a big softball for you to hit out of the park. But a, a lot of us struggled with those chord changes. Those chord changes, right? So yeah, that was that. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. Um, Mary says she hates playing with the metronome or a track, but the challenge made her embrace it and love it. I like that and love it. So how, hopefully some of you as well started to love it. Or maybe some of you still were like, nope, I ain't doing it. No surrey, no metronome or backing track. Um, and that's that's okay too. We'll, we'll get you there. We'll get you there. All right. Let's continue on here because again, I don't want to, I could go for hours talking to you all, but I don't want to go too long. Okay. So two, the secret number two is it's not as hard as you think. Once you mastered a couple of these basic fingerstyle patterns, like the Pima pattern or some of these backward rolls, like you'll be able to get the other ones down at a lot faster of a pace. Who's doing that? Was that Renee or that they kind of did the, the uh, for her little piece it was doing a lot of backward rolls. So you get something like the backward rolls down. You feel comfortable with that. You get the Pima pattern down. And then all of a sudden when you do something like, almost like a Peter, Pima pattern with a pinch, it's not as hard. So you don't have to learn like, if you got that book that says um, 101 uh, ukulele finger style patterns, like I don't even know if that book exists, but if it does and you have it, like I'm not gonna say throw it away, but like it's, it's, it's too much, it's too much. It's just too many, you don't need it. You only need to learn a couple and then start using your imagination and come up with stuff that works, right? It's just, it's just some of those books are cool in theory. The concept of the book is cool. Oh my gosh, 101 finger style techniques. Well, great. How many do we use on a regular basis? Two, <laughs> three, right? We just keep going to the same ones. We don't play, we don't, we can't recall 101 finger style challenges uh, when they do it. Um, all right, so I'm just reading some of the chats here. Uh, I like 503, dude. Where's 503? Uh, where's 503? Can't record myself. I'm out of the room on the phone. I'm like, okay. Uh, I'm just reading some of the comments. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. Joel asked the question. We'll get. We'll get in there, Joel. We're getting there. Um, all right. It's just so nice having a quiet house here. <clears throat> all right. Number three, which I've already mentioned, you'll be in like the small percent of people, not the wide percent of people. You actually be the small percent of people that uh, can do this stuff, that expand, that that want to actually learn and keep growing. Because a lot of a lot of us are just we're happy like kind of doing what we do, right? Mm -hmm. We're just kind of I'm cool with it. I'll keep doing that, and and I'm fine with that. But but why the reason why a lot of you are here is because you you're looking for more, right? You want to expand on your plane. You want to get better. You want to get smoother. You want to get the chord changes better. You want to learn some different finger style patterns. You want to write your own songs. Who's my songwriters out there? Everyone's a song. I mean, you're all songwriters. For you know what I mean, like. You just take a chord progression and write something over it. You can add some melody. You can add some picking. You're writing. A, you're a songwriter. I think all of us can write songs. Yeah, maybe adding lyrics and a melody are a little bit tougher and take more practice. But 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 you know if that's what you're thinking. But uh, but uh, but yeah, you're all you all can do this stuff, right? So so be that's why we're here. Just keep keep wanting more. Keep wanting more. <clears throat> all right. Next, here's. All right, so let me ask you this question. Uh, and we're going to get to the we're thing here. We're all, actually, this is perfect. I think I'm pacing this much better than the, the guitar lady one. All right. How many of you are just happy with like the, what we're talking about so far today? Like just, just in general, some of the things I've said have, have hit a nerve maybe uh, or hit, a, hit something that you've been looking for. Um, uh, like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm, I'm down with it. Like hopefully something I've said has has triggered you made you think about it or got you excited maybe over something um yeah keep it going i'm trying jack i'm trying i'm trying all right so uh i'm just i'm just uh floored by the comments on youtube that's so cool so many cool so many comments all right well here's why we're here really here's here's all this talk all the stuff we've been talking about is um let me get to my chart here all right we got, we're, I'm going to, I'm going to throw, I got, I got, I got something to throw down at you and I'm real, I'm real excited about it. And, uh, it's been a long time coming and it's, it's my, uh, 
finger style mastery course. Okay. My finger style ukulele mastery course. And, and what this course, I'm going to play some pieces for you right now. The whole reason why the challenge existed is because I looked at my course that I wrote and it's too hard. So I wanted to give you some, some, some ramp up to get into the course. And that 15 day challenge was a perfect course to now get you ready for the mastery course. Okay. But the mastery course is built like the challenge. It starts at a certain level and it starts working its way up. Okay. So I'm going to play a little bit for you. And we're going to talk about uh, how you can get these, these things. All right. All right. So notice that, what do we do? You know, that pattern P I M, right? The P I M pattern, right? Just doing something simple. This is basically number one. And if you're a Uclock the Pro member, we've actually already had a couple of these uh, songs already. Okay? So that's number one. Actually, I'm gonna have to get my, my PDFs out because I forget which, which all these songs are. So th again, these are almost taking where you left off with the challenge and then, and then going a little bit a little bit further. That, by the way, that one's called Cascades, is the name that we've given that one. All these have names. All right, this next one here, am I sharing my screen or no? No, I'm not, right? No. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. The next one here is called Soaring Rain. So check this out. Tell me what pattern this is. Well, I'm not playing all those songs. It's not like just that. These are actually a little bit longer. Pima, right? P I M A. So that's my Pima pattern. You should you should recognize that by that pattern. And that's kind of like the most most basic one, not basic, that's the wrong word, most uh, popular, right? The, the one that you hear time and time again. All right, but now, like I was saying, I wanna expand your playing. Notice that that one, what did I do with that one? Bar chord C, right? Yeah, I could have written it like this. I could have done this, C, G, A minor, G, but what did I do? slash B, A minor, right? So that's pushing you, pushing you out of your comfort zone a little bit. No, yes, okay. All right, here's, check out this one. Now, this is really exactly right on, look at this one, check this one out. Look at that. I mean, you've ever played that chord before. It's a nice chord though, isn't it? Just basically like a C chord, but it adds a little bit of kind of flavor to it. Yeah, that's just the first line of that one, C major. Uh, that one's in C major, okay? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play a few of these here. I'm gonna play all of them because there's a, there's a lot of them. There's 16 total songs here that I've written for, for this. Let me jump up to this one right here. Oh, that's why. Check this one out. Notice this one, sound familiar? And I think somebody did this, was this Renee? Remember it's day what, 15, right? Day 15, but now we're doing a whole picking thing. And again, this song goes on for a while. This is, I'm just playing like a little bit of it, right? Backward roll on that one, all right? Let's do a couple more and then we'll, uh, We'll get into what we're here for. This one's kind of cool. All right, kind of different, almost a little of a, an Irish folky jiggy type type sound. Okay, so this more possibility, right? So what I've done here with the finger style mastery course is just taking where we left off, expand on it, except these aren't like little examples, right? These aren't going to be, these are more like songs I wrote. They're more, they have different sections, a B section, a C section that are going to really expand your playing. You're going to maybe take a two or three minutes to play, right? Maybe a couple of minutes, right? They're not going to be short pieces, which in, short pieces are great, but you're actually going to have like performance pieces that you could play out for somebody. And they're going to be like, yeah, like that was, what was that? Like, wh where did that come from? Okay. 
And the one I was playing earlier that Renee uh, talked about is uh, this one is number, let me see what number this is, Renee. I don't even remember. I think it's kind of, I kind of, I think it's kind of late in the set here. Yeah, it's, it's 13. This is 13. This is the one we were talking about earlier. How many of you have played that chord before? You could do it though. It's not that bad of a stretch. You could do that. You could do all this stuff. Okay. All right. Uh, and then, uh, of course, as you know, blue. I've got to throw the blues in. I cannot get away without doing a blues song. You know that, you know that. So anyway, uh, this, this course is something I'm, I'm super, super proud of. I have, it's been probably about two years in the process, maybe a year and a half since I recorded them to now releasing these videos to you, these courses, all these songs. And <clears throat> uh, I'm, when I was going back and playing through them, I'm like, they're awesome. Like not the, not like, oh, good job, Terry, awesome. Just like, like, yeah, they're great songs. They're great, you're gonna learn like you're gonna grow so much from them, but they are gonna challenge you. So if you're just like, you know, if you just, just you want to keep it simple, that's totally cool. But these are gonna push you. These are gonna like get you going, get you playing, playing something. All right. So let's talk about it because there's there's really uh, is, can, is it is it good, Jack? Where are we? See you on the screen. All right. So really, you have two options for this course. Both options are gonna give you the same thing. You're gonna get the complete course. And if you know any of my courses, you get all the videos. And now all the videos are downloadable because I get a lot of people that like, hey, we live on a boat and we don't have internet access so much. Or, hey, I'm in the service and I'm getting deployed and I'm not going to have internet access. So um, <clears throat> so people want to download the videos. So you can download them. I mean, it takes up a lot of space, but they're downloadable videos. You get all the videos. You get, a, of course, the backing tracks. Everything I do comes with backing tracks. As you know, I have a great guy that does all my backing tracks. And everything comes with the tab and the sheet music that you can also print out as well. That's just given. Now, what uh, this this course I edited and I had someone else help me edit, but what Mari did uh, is uh, she added the cursor that moves along with it because especially on finger style, it's, you know, strumming is one thing, but especially on finger style, it's hard to kind of tell where I am in the video just by watching my hands. So not only is there the tab on the screen, but the actual cursor that moves and Trust me, that takes so much time. She's wanted to kill me many times for all the different all the different times I go, hey, let's do it again, you know, trying to help you guys learn it better at a slow tempo. So um, yeah, Chuck says external hard drive. So um, anyway, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. I mean, just what Mari did alone is freaking amazing with the videos. All right, so there's two ways that we can get this course if this is something, by the way, we do have the winners. I'm going to announce the winners here soon. Let's just talk about this for a second and then we'll announce the winners. Um, okay, so the fingerstyle ukulele mastery course. And to be honest with you, I actually just added the word mastery this morning. <laughs> it was just a fingerstyle ukulele course, but I, I don't know why I said mastery. And then I said, you know what? That's a better name. So that's why we're going to call this one mastery because it is. It's not a beginning. It's not the fingerstyle challenge. It's more of a mastery course. It's something that's really going to to take you, uh, you know, kind of to the next level. So, um, I, I, I kind of mentioned this. So uh, all my videos, HD, t uh, usually 4K, although we have to kind of download them to, to 1080 to play better. Um, all 16 original finger picking pieces that I wrote. So all original pieces um, that I think you're going to love. Uh, a lot of these would have been taken from my guitar finger picking pieces and people have loved those things for, for many years. Um, you get the printable sheet music and tab, you know that. You get the backing tracks as well on the screen, tab and chords, the movement cursor, what I said. But really, I think the last one is the, the most important thing is the, the curriculum based thing, the step by step. So by far, when you get, you know, lesson one is going to be much easier than when you get to lesson, you know, 15 or 16 or 14 or 10, right? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to step it up gradually, right? And you're going to love some of these things. I mean, you, you're probably like, you know, play some of these. These aren't pieces. Uh, also, um, 
these aren't, and I'm not trying to scare anybody, but these aren't pieces you're gonna learn in like five minutes and be moving on. Like you're gonna have to practice some of these, especially certain sections. You're gonna have to practice, you have to devote yourself, just like you do with the challenge to get some of these things down. But if you do, that's when you're really going to see the growth as a player and as a musician, as you keep on, uh, keep on doing it. Oh, thank you, Rebecca says that. Uh, the, uh, my pedagogy shines. Thank you. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in, in classroom teaching a lot of different people. And so you, you learn things, you pick up things of how, how people learn. Um, and Mari hates it because I go over things in my videos a couple of times. Um, and sometimes the, the millennial generation, they like to see things just once and move on. But I find that, you know, especially when I'm in class, we got to do it a couple of times. You know, you got to do it a couple of times. All right. So, so always pricing things is always a really hard thing. Uh, so trying to find prices that are, are good and fair for not only what you're getting, but also, uh, you know, thinking of everybody's budget. So my original thought was that the, the price is at $197 was my original price. But um, of course, we're here for the launch special. And so, you know, as I've always done with my launches is I've always uh, give you guys not only reduced price, but also a lot of extra bonuses as well. Um, to go along with it. So, um, and, and I'll, and I'll be totally honest with you. Uh, I spend a lot of money on courses myself, uh, let a lot, a lot more expensive than this. My mentors that I, I study with and different things, uh, man. And some of you that do this stuff, you know, too, I mean, you have to spend money on yourself. You have to invest in yourself, but I'll spend, I spend a lot of money on myself for this kind of stuff. So, uh, to know that I'm out doing it too. I'm out supporting, you know, buying courses and, and trying to get better at things that I find that I'm, I'm, I'm weak at. So that was my original thought. Um, let me see where it is. Okay. Now I know this is kind of weird, but the 15 day finger style course, which is free right now, uh, it's probably not going to be free. Uh, it may not be free. I don't, I don't know yet. We're trying to figure that down the road, but as you, as you know, you went through it, there's probably a lot of value in that course uh, that I, I did for free. I will be honest with you, uh, me recording them, writing them, filming them, getting them edited. We, me and Mari spent a lot, a lot, a lot of time on them for you. You know, we did it for you. It's okay. We liked it. We enjoyed the process, but uh, it was a lot of time uh, doing it. So um, thank you. know, that's why I was so happy to see you guys doing it because it made it worth it. Maybe worth spending two hours at Instagram every night commenting on everybody's thing or going to the forum and doing that stuff. So, um, so anyway, but I think that course is, is really, it could be a, you know, a course that would, would be worth something to someone if I didn't have it up for free. All right. We are going to do a six week Q and a, and I know that, uh, I'm a little behind on the last Q and a that I was supposed to start on the baritone. And, and I, I sent out an email yesterday, apologizing for that, but that's going to happen to the baritone Q and a, but we're going to do a six week finger style only Q and a, Okay. Um, this is also hard to judge, but, uh, but if some, you know, if you want to study private with Lee, like I don't do privates any cheaper than a hundred dollars. And that's like, that's still to me pretty cheap. Um, I'm not saying it's not a lot of money cause it is, but, um, it's just because I'm so busy with everything. It's hard for me to find time. So that's why I valued that at $497. Cause I just don't have time always to do it. So you get the six week, that's going to be a live Q and a, just like this live zoom lesson, except you're going to be, be with me, uh, doing it. That's going to be included as well. Again, this is all for the, the launch special. You are going to get the workbook. Okay. So you are going to get this stuff, all the sheet music in the tab, except in a book form and it's formatted differently. The stuff that you see on, on the line is, is, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's really professional looking, but the book is slightly formatted differently. You're going to get to get that book. That book is not ready. Just like the baritone book is not ready yet, but uh, when it's ready, I will ship it out to you anywhere in the world. I'll pay for the book. I'll pay for shipping, even Australia and New Zealand, which uh, have very expensive shipping rates. I've learned, I've come to learn shipping uh, products to Australia and New Zealand. All right. Here's something that I just wanted to throw in for you. Uh, if you get the course, if you get by the course, the standalone course, uh, $125 off any Koloha, Koa wood ukulele that I have up in the store. Okay. Any, any, anything concert, uh, have, what do I have? Jack long neck concerts up there, tenors, um, uh, red label. I have a red label left and I have one pops pineapple Sunday. So $125 off that. So if you were looking to buy an ukulele, 
you're already going to get that discount. It's already going to, it's already going to cover most of this course already. Now I can't give you that big of a discount on the OPO stuff because it's not that the prices aren't the same, but I will, I will give you $75 off any of the Colo OPO stuff as well, which you'll net, you won't find anywhere because my stuff's already priced at the, at the lowest end, just like uh, the ukulele site, just like MIMS, just like some of the other stuff out there. So uh, <clears throat> anyway, that's going to be included. And uh, okay. So yeah, so there's about 25 Colo wood ukuleles at the store. And there's 20 opios right now. Okay, there's 20 opios. All right, so like just adding that up would be about $985 worth, worth of stuff just included in that package. But um, but that you know that's if you had to buy everything standalone. But before we get to the like the discounts here, I know we want to get to discounts. Uh, I just want to say I had to share a couple things here, and I know we're getting at two o'clock. I'm gonna wrap this up here real soon. Um, uh, so a couple comments, and these are these are all on Instagram. These were comments about just kind of the the finger style course. And I would love if you guys ever feel like writing a like kind of a review or a testimonial and send it to me. I would love to have it and put it up on the website and stuff like that. Uh, but it was one of the pieces, day thirteen, perfect piece for us to push ourselves out of the strumming comfort zones. I love that. Your strumming comfort zones. How many of you are in the strumming comfort zone? That's exactly what I've been talking about almost this whole time. And get down and dirty with finger picking. Love this day 13 challenge. So, um, what was day 13? What was day 13? Was that Sandy Beach? Right? Yeah, Sandy Beach. All right. So, that was a really cool uh, <clears throat> comment up on uh, Instagram. Strumming comfort zones. Strumming comfort zone. Think about where you're at with your strumming comfort zones. All right. Uh, Honestly, I can't thank you enough for this course and all you do for the community here warms my heart to see so many kind and generous people who do so much for others. So I think uh, they're referring to not only me, but just all the other great ukulele, um, not only teachers out there, but just you as a community, you know, all the support you give one another, commenting on your videos, you know, uh, sending private messages, um, you know, doing different things. It's just, it's to be honest with you coming from the guitar world, the ukulele thing is is absolutely amazing 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 community i've never seen anything like it and when i have to work with some of the people that i work with i have to get like no the ukulele community is not the business world like you know what i mean like you got to get at it's a the community here at the ukulele is a totally different different world and it's absolutely amazing the support and the love uh, not only with you guys but also even with the different um teachers how we all like we actually do get in contact with each other. We hang out, we talk all the time. I'm talking to all the people you go and watch their videos. I'm, I'm in pretty much contact, constant contact with them over different things. So it's just a great community. I got one more comment here that I really liked. Um, and there was a lot, it was hard just finding three. This one was actually from last night. Uh, yay, it feels great. I love the Instagram too with the little emojis you can put in. Uh, it feels great to be completing the 15 day finger style challenge today. It was a lot of learning for me in the last 15 days in terms of being disciplined, learning under pressure and really keeping up the commitment. So that's that's big stuff that, and that's why we're here is that commitment. Thanks a lot to Terry to push and the motivation and for teaching us some really valuable techniques. So thought that was a really great quote and I'm very thankful. Uh, and she's actually in San Diego. So we're, we haven't connected yet, but we'll have to connect at some point in time. All right, so uh, we're, almost, we're almost to the thing, but here, here's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna try to wrap this up. I'm gonna throw everything in that we talked about everything we talked about, but for the launch special, which is only going to be two days, 48 hours, I'm going to make it a short one. Uh, we're going to just throw it down for $97. So you get everything from the finger style course, the 15 day challenge, which I know you have, but there's a lot of, there's, there's people that don't have it. Uh, the six week Q and a, the book, and then the discount off the Koloha for next two days will be uh, $97. Okay. So I want to do that for you now. You can actually, if you're on the website, you can actually find this stuff right below. There's links right below to it already. You can just go get the course. That course is a one-time payment course. You pay for it, you own it forever. Okay, so it's actually an awesome deal. And I wanna just do that just for you guys, just cause it's, it's uh, I think it's, you know, just for all the support you guys give me, it's awesome. Okay, so two days for that, that will end on, uh, what is it? I think Tuesday night at midnight is we'll close that. So it's a little more than two days. A little bit more than two days. Now, some of you are ready to kind of actually do something a little bit more. And don't forget, we're going to do the winners here. Let me just get through this. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold, hold on. 
What was what was those infomercials? But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. Okay. Uh, some of you, if you're ready to kind of make a bigger commitment, and some of you already are, for for just a monthly thing, sixteen dollars a month, and that's a new price. That's like I raised it just a little bit uh, this week. Not even not not even raised that much yet. Uh, sixteen dollars a month, the premium membership, and this is kind of like a lot of premium members are already here, and they already have the course. They already have the course because they got the course early for being a premium member. They get a lot of perks for being premium members. And that's really where I spend most of my time. If most of the people in Zoom are my premium members and they know that uh, this is where I spend my time. The weekly uh, ukulele Q&A that we do every Friday, the guitar lele Q&A, we do two of them on Saturday. We're gonna do the finger style Q&A. We're gonna do the baritone Q&A, plus all the other stuff that I get just for my members, members only. So that's really where I try to spend a lot of my time uh, from it. So, so like, uh, Renee's already in there as well. So uh, premium membership is really, I think it's where it's at. It's got a lot, besides just my courses, you get, you actually get, oh, let me go through it. You get everything we talked about. All that stuff's already included, but you get the, uh, the Q and A's and don't worry about, I mean, that's, I just had to throw some prices up on them just based on my time really, but you get the beginner Q and A, you get the intermediate Q and A, you get the mass, all my courses. That's the thing. I don't even have to go through it. This is all, you get all my courses as a premium member. It's like, there's not even a course up there that you won't have as a premium member. So you get all my courses. They're all up there. Um, and so that, all this stuff, plus all the courses, oh, that's my wife. She's gone. Uh, plus we started something new, didn't we? Weekly challenges for, for prizes. So we've been doing, uh, Tuners, we've been giving tuners away, strings away. I think this week is a pair of strings. Uh, we've been giving different things away every week for like these little mini challenges for members only. We also have a member only form or community that we have that's only for members. And then, as you know, we've given away Koalohas in the challenges as well. So we have some general challenges, but we've also given away some challenge, some, some ukuleles from OPOs all the way up to Koa Wood stuff, only for the premium members though, only for the premium members. So anyway, that, that, <laughs> That's it's pretty, it's almost a staggering number. If you were to buy everything by itself, 1791, if you would buy all my courses one by one, some of them you can't buy, like you can't buy the Q and A's that we do each week. Those are part, only part of the membership. But I did raise the price a little bit, not much so. New membership for premium membership is 1995. If you buy by the year, it ends up being $16 a year, a, a month for the, for the yearly price. So actually pretty, pretty awesome deal. That link is below the website page as well. You can sign up for the yearly or the monthly. So on the, on the page, um, and I'll share my screen with you real quick. And I've seen a lot of comments. We're going to get going here in a minute. Uh, let me put this up on the screen so you can see it. And I'll, I'll email this to you too, if you want. Because again, you have 48 hours to make a decision if you guys want to be a part of, of this stuff, which I, I hope you do because it's more than, we do a lot. We do a lot. So let me share the screen with you. And I've had members here. We've, what have we been doing a Q and A for? Like a couple of years, Cappy, huh, Cappy? I mean, we've been doing the damn Q and A's for like uh, probably close to, to two and a half years. So all those videos are recorded. All those are already up on the uh, up on the site. I'm trying to figure out how to share my screen. Here we go. Okay. My wife is calling me. Uh -uh. All right. So if you go to this web, web page, and I'll, I'll send this to you below the video and below the chat is where we have the prices. So you have the, the finger style course. You can just buy that now. It will go there. But if you want to become a premium member for the year, on 188 is what it comes out to be. It's really, it's like two months free. It's really what it ends up being. Or 19.95 a month for, for all this stuff. You can just click these buttons, right? So that's right there. All right. Now, let's wrap this up. I want to get some winners. Who wants to get a winner? Who wants to get a winner? All right. Let's do a winner. <clears throat> and again, thank you for being here. I know it's Sunday. It's now 2.08, so I apologize. It's going a little bit longer. Uh, but let's talk about this real quick. The winners. The winners of the challenge. We're going to do it. We're going to pick it right now, though. Like, we don't even have, we don't even have, a, we don't even have a winner yet. We're going to pick it right now. All right. So the winners of the 15-day finger style challenge, uh, we're going to do, do the grand prize winner first. Okay. That way, the first person selected is going to be the winner. Now, you guys don't even know who the, the finalists are, but here they are. And by the way, uh, uh, there was this was really hard for me because a lot of you have done so awesome doing this stuff that um, uh, that you guys did great. I mean, I, I, I love everybody to win. Everybody, everybody to win. So um, just know that if you didn't get chosen, it had nothing to do with anything except for that it was just these are the, the people that uh, – 
I don't know, for whatever reason, just I love the commitment. I love the videos they posted. I love the, the work that they put into that and also commenting on other people's stuff. But here are the four finalists. Here are the four finalists. So proud of the, all these people and everybody else as well, as I mentioned. All right, Craig, Craig Hansley. That he worked really hard, even though he was really busy and going through, I think he was really sick one day and stuff like that. So Craig, everyone saw Craig's stuff. He posted every single day. Uh, Charlene also did great stuff. I love her little videos. Um, she always waves in her videos, which was uh, really awesome. I loved, I love that. Um, Owen, now Owen, uh, Owen is actually uh, a member uh, and he was posting on the member only community, the forum. So I don't think Jack, did you, did he, he's not on Instagram, is he? Yeah, he's not even on Instagram. So I didn't want to just pick Instagram people, but Owen did awesome. He was like, he had his daughter in one video and she like counted. She was like his metronome counting the whole time. It was awesome. And then Jade, uh, she was the one that was doing videos in her car before work. And it was like, it was so cold that she had a huge jacket on with like a hood on filming these finger style pieces. And if you ever played finger style in the cold, you know that it's like, it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible to do it. All right. So those, those are our, those are our, uh, our finalists here uh, for now. Yeah. All great. And then, by the way, like I mentioned, everybody, everybody could have, could come, you know I mean? There's so many people that could have been part of this, uh, this thing. All right. So let me find the web page. I have the page already. Uh, I have the page already set up. It's a, uh, it's a random selector, but now I'm just kind of struggling. My wife's like, I want to come home. So I got to wrap this up myself. Okay. Where is my, where is it? Okay. Here it is. So I'm using this thing. It's called, uh, uh, oh, you want to wait, let me check it. Random selector, random name generator name. There it is. Okay. And <clears throat> where's Craig at? Where's Craig? Is, am, I, am I seeing this chat up there? So many people could have won Craig. Okay. Craig says that's awesome. All right. So here we go. Uh, we'll do this one right here. I think it's, uh, all right. <clears throat> all right. That wasn't it. Hold on. I had it and then I had to like, close it up. So, uh, just a random name generator. Nope, let me, sorry, let me try it again. I did have it all set up, name, chooser. <clears throat> all right, wheels and names, there it is. Mini web tool, mini web tool. All right, let me share the screen. So you, you can see this, you can see me doing it right here live. So this will be, let me grab it. This is so exciting. I love giving away stuff. I don't even care if I have, where I have to ship it either. It's cool. All right, so here we go. Here's a random name picker. This is called Mini Web Tool. And there was no, no one had to give money for this. So we're going to just put the names in. There's the four names. All right. And the, the, one, well, the first person I choose is going to win uh, this right here. This oh, Ohana uh, Willowwood Concert Ukulele. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let me see. Let me see the hands up. Let me see some clapping. All right, here we go. Uh, it says pick a random name. We're doing that now. And it picks... Who's it pick? Oh, not now. The winner is, look at that. Look at that. Craig wins. Craig wins. Bravo to Craig. Um, uh, we'll come back to it because I got to choose the excellent winner. Uh, honestly, Craig could have won uh, our last uh, challenge as well. Uh, the Koaloha challenge. He could have won uh, that one as well. So Congrats to Craig. It looks like I'll be shipping this internationally. All right, we'll be shipping internationally. All right, now the next one we're going to do the next one, I never told you what the prize is. The prize is going to be the course. So the next winner is going to win the course. So they don't have to, uh, they don't have to buy it. And if they're a premium member, then we'll already, we'll figure something else. Maybe they can give the course to somebody or something like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out Craig's name. Can you see it? Is it on the screen, Jack? Oh. All right, so there we go. We've got Charlene, Owen, and Jade are for the, the finger style course. We're going to pick a random name. Here it goes. And... Oh, there we go. I don't know why the blocker comes in. Charlene. All right. So Charlene's going to win the course. Bravo to Charlene. She's going to be challenged uh, for getting this. So uh, congratulations to uh, Craig. Craig, he's a, a flight guy. So fly, I don't know, Craig, is it going to be a problem playing Ohana? Uh, I don't, I don't know. We'll have to, uh, he's, all his things says, uh, where's Craig at? Where are you, Craig? It says, uh, fly, we are flighters. We are flighters. Where's Craig? Yeah, something. All right, thank you so much. Okay, you got it. All right, let's wrap this up. My wife is like literally going to kill me. Uh, 
<laughs> she's called like five times. I haven't answered the phone. Okay, so I got to get out of here. All right, let me just let me just put the last thing up, and we'll get out of here. And again, I do super super appreciate uh, all your time being here on a Sunday. Again, this course will be available for the next 48 hours. I will send a, an email out uh, reminding you uh, about it. Uh, okay, so here we go. Recap. You have two ways to get the, the course. You can just buy the course. That's a one-time payment. Uh, always money back guarantee with all my stuff, $97. Uh, again, that link is below. Or I'll email that link for 48 hours uh, if you just want to buy the course. But what I really would like everybody to do, actually it's $16, not 15, uh, is for you to become a premium member, 1995. Be part of the You Collect the Pros community, um, 1995 per month or by the year, it ends up being $16. So anyway, that's it. But hold on, hold on. Just for y'all being here today, I actually forgot to include a piece in the course and it's a piece I wrote in D minor um, that I'm going to send to you. So I'll email it to you probably give, give, give me today or tomorrow and I'm going to email everybody that's here or that signed up for the course, uh, this, this webinar, I'm going to email you that secret secret finger style piece uh, to you just for, for showing up here. So anyway, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. And by the way, good question. Someone asked if, if, the, if, if you're a member already and the prices go up, does it go up for you? No, whatever price you locked in, even if it was a low, low price when it was lower, uh, that stays forever, forever. It doesn't matter how much I raise it to, which, um, which we may, yeah. But anyway, we may be raising that down the road, but for now, I think 1995 is a very fair price for it. So thank you all for being here. Uh, I'll send some emails out. This will be available for the next couple of days. Uh, please have uh, Craig and Charlene uh, get in contact with me. We'll get them their prizes. Uh, thank you everybody on Zoom. Thank you everybody on YouTube. Thank you everybody on the website. I duly, truly appreciate you being here. I'll post this soon. Thank you. Have a great day and uh, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.